Yo, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about what are, in my opinion, the best live series collections, the best teams to start with, especially if you're no money spent and that will be the show 21 Diamond Dynasty. So I guess we're going for 350 or more likes in this video, maybe 100 or more new subscribers today. Comment down below if you guys have any collections that maybe I didn't mention or didn't mention that you agree with. Maybe just in the comments for other people to take a look at. Maybe leave the collections that you think are the best as well down in the comments part of this video a little bit later on is going to be from my twitch stream i'm trying to stream sundays through fridays six days a week 10 a.m central twin gaming tv over on twitch a link is down in that description as well as my instagram and twitter if y'all want to toss a follow on it there and one thing that i want to mention is that when i started putting in buy orders for the collections that we're talking about today I was at around, I want to say like 170,000 stubs. And then after I had put in all my buy orders, I think it got me down to maybe between 60 or 70,000 stubs. And then just from completing the collections and playing a little bit more, that's boosted my stub count already back up to around 90,000. So you do get a little bit of stubs, not a ton of stubs, but if we just go to the Red Sox here, you can see, you know, if I complete the entire team and I want to say it's the same for each team, I want to say you get the same amount. You're going to be getting two, four, eight hundred plus five hundred. You're going to be getting thirteen hundred stubs per team. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be the same for each team. So for this video, what I'm going to do is go over each of the collections I've completed already. All of the ones included here are the ones that I think are the best ones to start with in Diamond Dynasty, especially maybe specifically if you are no money spent. And one thing I'll say that all these have in common except one is they don't have any diamonds. So they are the easiest, which is also why I think they are the best ones to start right away because you don't need any diamond players. That's going to make them a lot cheaper to do. And with you getting those 1,400 stubs for completing the team, you're really not spending that much, right? Obviously, some of the teams are going to have a more expensive gold or maybe multiple expensive golds and silvers and stuff that might make it a little bit more expensive than the others, but these are going to be way cheaper and you're getting some stubs back compared to any of the other teams that we're not talking about today. So after I go through each team, I'm just going to have a quick little thing, like I said, from my stream where I'm actually completing these. And I think I give a little bit of feedback or details about each one, maybe kind of talk about my opinions on the reward a bit and everything like that. Just a little bit of a quick highlight type thing from my stream in case anyone wants to see that after this portion of the video. But the teams we have before I go into each one are the Orioles, Tigers, Royals, Twins, Athletics, Mariners, Rangers, Marlins, Cubs, Reds, Pirates, Diamondbacks, and the Giants. And it's not in any specific order. I just kind of went from American League to the NL, kind of the same way the teams might go on here as I was going through them. And you'll notice, too, one thing that's super nice is when you're doing these collections, you do get a reward. So for the Orioles, we are getting this 83 overall Jim Palmer. And that's one thing I want to do right now is just show you guys each of the rewards from each collection and in addition to those live series cards you are also getting players that you can use on your team you can start to parallel help you on in conquest maybe in events maybe in ranked seasons if you need starting pitching for example you have the orioles right there uh, orioles and tigers are both pretty cheap ones i know a lot of people love this pudge a lot of people like his swing so he's got some pretty good fielding a good arm i feel like pudge could maybe be considered a really good budget beast hitter and I would highly recommend, especially if you're looking for a catcher, to do the Tigers collection. Then we have the Kansas City Royals. A little bit more expensive because they do have a couple golds, but still not bad. And you get a really good contact hitter in the form of George Brett. This is a great card if you're someone who likes a bigger PCI, likes a little bit less power. You like to try to get base hits and get somebody on base with some decent speed and some okay fielding over there at third base with an okay arm. It's not bad at all by any means, so not bad right there for completing the Royals collection. Then we have the Twins. I would say this is probably the most expensive collection we did besides the Athletics today. With that being said, I think Buxton will be going diamond in the first roster update, and you also get Kirby Puckett a diamond with really good attributes versus lefties and some great fielding in the outfield for completing the Twins collection, which of as of right now has no diamonds. So I highly recommend the Twins collection. You get some good players like Buxton who might go diamond soon. Nelson Cruz has an amazing swing. Josh Donaldson does as well. Taylor Rogers is one of my favorite gold relievers in the game, being only an 80 overall. So 
not a bad team by any means. And we have the Athletics. Now, this is the one collection from this video that has a diamond player. And the biggest reason I recommend this collection is because Matt Chapman's a beast. He's not a super expensive diamond, but the reward is amazing. For me, Dennis Eckersley has always been an insane reliever. His hits per nine is great. His slider has a good break. He just overall has a good break and control rating. Control is really big. You will be able to locate with him a lot better than some other relievers. And I highly recommend Dennis Eckersley. I personally love him. I would definitely recommend doing the Athletics Collection, trying out Dennis if you have not. Then we got the Mariners. We got Michael Pineda right here. Uh, just, you know, another one. And a lot of these, you know, I'm not necessarily recommending them because of the reward. Like, I'm not necessarily recommending Pineda here. But for me, right, is these collections... Without having a diamond, they're going to be a lot cheaper, and it's just nice to get them out of the way. If you can get these out of the way, get these teams done, you're getting a little bit of extra stubs. You are getting some extra players. You're getting some live series players that could help your team out as well. I love Joey Gallo. You know, Jazz Chisholm could always go get upgraded, which would be nice to have him early on already. This D. Gordon card's pretty good, can be useful in events. Or like George Brett, good contact hitter, high vision, a little bit lower power, a lot of speed threat to steal so you're getting the extra stubs you're getting some of these players you're getting these collections out of the way these collections can also give you progress towards team affinity that's another big thing too is if you're no money spent or you're wondering which collections to do these collections are also helping you towards team affinity which i highly recommend for no money spent players next up we have carrie wood right here four seam 12 six curve cutter slurve a lot of people loved this version of Kerry Wood last year, the reliever, the closing pitcher, Kerry Wood. I haven't used him yet this year, but for completing a collection that right now doesn't have any diamonds, for getting a diamond player, some extra stubs, I would say it's a good bang for your buck right there. The Reds, you get a lot of good live series players. You have Daniel Suarez, Nick Castellanos, Amir Garrett's a great reliever, especially in BR. Moustakis has one of my favorite swings for BR. Sean Doolittle's not a bad lefty end of the pen. Plus, you get this Adam Dunn, who I think is going to be an insane pinch hitter, at least at this point in the year, for ranked seasons. Maybe if you want to put him as your starting right fielder, too, with that slow speed and the bad fielding, but... Either way, that admin does a great card. I would recommend, again, the Reds, Pirates, Diamondbacks, Giants. We have to go. This one's pretty easy. Ralph Kine, you get a good either bench bat or if you want him to start. But a great pinch hitter, even though it's a righty v righty, a great pinch hitter versus righties if you want him. You get the extra stubs. And the Pirates is definitely one of the cheapest collections for you to be able to do this year. Then we have the, uh, the Athletics. I feel like I might have said the Athletics. The Diamondbacks. Archie Bradley's going to be their reward. Catel Marte's got one of my favorite swings in the game. Who knows? Maybe he'll go diamond this year. And then last but not least, we have the San Francisco Giants. One of the more cheaper collections to do. One of the cheaper. I guess that's a little bit redundant there. You get Hunter Strickland, who's a pretty good rookie reliever. Throws some gas. Has a nice pitch selection. I wish he had a sinker, but good hits per nine as well. Not a bad gold reliever and could definitely be on a ranked seasons team of the pen at this point in the year. And you also get Mike Gostremski. I love his swing. He's one of my favorite gold cards in the game, especially for Battle Royale. So that took a little bit longer than I thought. But like I said, you also get points towards the Team Affinity program. And it is based on how expensive the collection is to do pretty much. But as you all can see, if we go to the AL West right here, we go to collections. For the Athletics, I got five extra. For the Mariners, I got three extra. For the Rangers, I got three extra. So right there... That's going to be 11 Team Affinity points, which is a, honestly a decent amount. That's going to be 11 that I just don't have to do now for the first inning of the Team Affinity. That's super nice. The first season of them, it's super nice that I don't have to do those extra ones. It saves me some showdowns, moments, conquests, whatever I want to do to get these Team Affinities done. It saves me some of that while I'm also getting better players for my team and getting some extra stubs. And then the last thing that I want to say before I show the collections, if anyone wants to see me just collecting these, I know sometimes people like to see that if anyone wants to see it. Uh, there's one more thing that I want to say, though, before we show that little highlight from my Twitch stream. And that is that another big part of having collections done, getting them out of the way, is that anytime you get a player, right, if I were to get, say, Matt Chapman in a pack. Now I can just sell him. I can use those stubs. I can get those stubs and put him, those stubs, towards another team, another team's collection. And that's going to be the case for any of these players, any common, any bronze, any silver, any gold, any diamond in the athletics case. But any of these players from these 13 teams that I get, I'm really hoping I'm doing my math correctly here. 
any player that I get from these teams now, I'm able to sell or hold on to for exchanges, and I don't have to worry about collecting the card. Also, I want to note, because uh, some people aren't 100% uh, sure about this, or they maybe didn't know it, if you collect a card, you can still use it. All these cards are usable that I collected, you just can't sell them. I can never sell this Matt Chapman, or this Ramon Laureano, or this Matt Olsen. I should be able to sell one of these Trevor Rosenthal's, I'm pretty sure, but uh, you're never able to sell a card that you collect but you will be able to sell future versions of the card, and you didn't lose that card since you collected them. He's still on your team. He's still in your inventory. So let's collect the Orioles. I don't think I made any mistakes. I'm pretty sure we should have all of these. I think I put in a buy order for every single player. Yeah, so there's one down. We got the Orioles done. And we got Jim Palmer. What's nice is we do these collections, and we're going to get a card for each team. So that's going to be 13 extra cards in addition to all the live series players. We get on our team, so that's super nice. Next team is going to be the Tigers. Auto select, we have all 40. We get Pudge from this one. A lot of people like this one because you get Pudge. A lot of people like Ivan Rodriguez. And there we go. There's another one. Two of the 13 complete. Now we have the Royals. I don't think I made any mistakes. I'm, I'm pretty sure I was super careful and put in a buy order for every team. George Brett right here. He was actually a beast for me in one of my Battle Royale runs, so... I'll take that. Now we're on to the Twins, staying in the AL Central. I'm not a Twins fan by, pop, by popular belief. I'm not a Twins fan, but this is a big one. Now, Byron Buxton could go gold soon, but for collecting no diamonds, you get a diamond. You get Kirby Puckett. So that's, I feel like, a lot of bang for your buck right there. A really good bat versus left-handed pitchers. Not bad versus righties either. A good fielder. So I was missing... Sergio Roma, we went ahead and got him. Now we can get this Dennis Eckersley. He will be going in my bullpen for sure. I'm super happy to have that card. All right, let's go and do the Mariners right there. We're going to get Michael Pineda for completing them. Another one bites the dust. So I was apparently missing a few players on the Rangers. We're waiting for some of those buy orders to go through. And yeah, we got Marlins. I don't, I sw there was three players on the Rangers in a row that I skipped apparently. And I just find it hard to believe that I would have done that, but... I guess I did, so now we could try to move on to the Cubs, assuming we're not missing any players from there. We aren't, so we get another diamond. Yo, that's sick. Hey, all, no diamonds in their collection, but you do get a diamond reward, Kerry Wood. A lot of people liked him last year. I hope I like him this year. We're going to see how it goes with that pinpoint pitching. Staying in the NL Central. We're going to the Reds. Please don't tell me I'm missing anybody. We're not. So I don't know how I missed. I missed six players. Yo, we get Adam Dunn. That should be a really good card. How did I miss six players on the Rangers, but no other team I missed that many? That's just a little bit weird to me. And I think we have two to go. We got the Diamondbacks and then the Giants. So let's see the Diamondbacks, 40 out of 40. We're going to get Archie Bradley, 80 overall gold. And we should have two teams left. One team in the NL. Gonna be the Giants. Hopefully not missing anybody here. Awesome. 40 and a 40. So all we have to do is wait for our Rangers buy orders to go through. And then we have all 13 of these collections done that we're trying to get done. All right. So we finally got the six players I was missing from the Rangers. We can complete the collection. And Burt Blylevin is ours. Will I ever use this card? I don't know. Uh, but we got 13 of the 30 MLB collections done. And every team left has at least one diamond. However, we did get the A's done. They do have a diamond, so I'm glad we got that one done. But a lot of these are probably... Oh, wait, we forgot the Pirates. Yo, there we go. Okay, well, there's the Pirates. My bad. I thought I did that one. Uh, but a lot of the ones left are going to be pretty expensive. These are not going to be super easy collections to complete. But at least we got a few of them done. We got nearly half of them done. I'm happy about that. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, if anyone wanted to see me collecting. I know sometimes people like to see that, so I figured I could throw it into the video. It took me a little bit longer to go through these teams than I thought it would, so my my bad if the video was a little bit longer than maybe you wanted it to. But I think I got the point across for the collections, the 13 that I would recommend first, especially for no money spent players. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Twitch, Twin Gaming TV on there, 10 a.m. Sunday through Friday. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope this video helped at least one person out there. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.